Welcome back to another edition to Shaman Legends. On an episode 14 of Shaman Legends, I have brought on Matt Doherty. Matt, how are you doing? I'm good, Luke, yeah. Thanks for having me on, mate. No problem. So, Matt, what are you up to now, then? Uh, I'm a full-time coach at Everton Academy. I coach yeah. the um, under-13s there, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm loving the role, mate, yeah. It's really good. Yeah, obviously. You Obviously, you've been managing at Ultram as well. You've obviously managed against us as well, haven't you? Yes. Some call it managing, some call it messing up. But uh, I enjoyed it. It was an interim role. Yeah. Um, it lasted three months, I think, something like that. But listen, I enjoyed it. I came across uh, Alifax as well. Uh, yeah. we, beat, we beat us 2 0. Mm-hmm. Deserved it so. But yeah, yeah it, um, it was interesting. Enjoy, enjoyed it. And yeah. didn't enjoy it as well at the same time because it, mm-hmm. uh, it, was, it was hard work. It was hard yeah. work. So overall, talk us through your time at Halifax. Obviously, joining in 2004 to 2008, obviously, there were a lot of negatives, but there were some positives as well, wasn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the first two years of, um, on the, on the yeah. pitch. We're fantastic, yeah. Um, yeah. I remember the first year we were doing really, really well. Um, mm-hmm. I broke my leg down at Aldershot. Yeah. I remember breaking my leg down yeah. at Aldershot. I think we were in the playoffs then. Yeah. Uh, I think the last last couple of months we had a little dip in form. And I, I know. I think we didn't make the playoffs. Yeah. Sure, we the playoffs. I can't remember. Um, but we, yeah, and again the season after we got to the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, Unlucky, probably not to go up automatic. Actually, you know, Atkinson in that year, they, they got yeah. that year, but um, mm-hmm. they had a really good team. Um, mm-hmm. and last last game on it at the uh, playoff yeah. final. So. Yeah, but, uh, no, it was a great season, two great seasons, yeah. and then the, the other two seasons was a bit hampered, weren't they, with mm-hmm. off field stuff? Um, but listen, I was all I remember is four great years at Halifax. Yeah. My best, my best four mm-hmm. years of football were, were at Halifax. Yeah. Obviously, when you first joined the club, how did that move come about at the time? Obviously, Halifax had probably more or less just been relegated from the Football League. There were a lot of negative uh, uh, thoughts around Halifax being quite low down the football pyramid after being relegated to the National League for the first time in over 100 yeah. years. What was it like joining the club? Uh, so, I was at Rochdale with uh, Maka, yeah. Sean, who was um, the yeah. assistant to, to, to Tufty at um, Halifax. And mm-hmm. I got a phone call. I, I could have I could have moved to uh, Bristol Rovers, Forest Green, yeah. um, Torquay. Mm-hmm. But I had, I had a young family, and uh, mm-hmm. Mac called me up and said, "Do you want to? You know, would you come?" Uh, yeah. So I spoke, I spoke to I spoke to Chris Chris Wilder on the on the phone, and yeah, yeah, I was uh, I signed about two days later, I think. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, go on. No, just saying the, the, oh, okay. the, team, yeah. the team didn't have any any superstars. We we, we wasn't massively well paid. Uh, everyone was on the same kind of money. So yeah. There's no egos in there at all. The, the fantastic personalities in the dressing mm-hmm. room, great characters, and the, well, that's one thing I remember about my time at Halifax. Is every mm-hmm. every person who came through the door, there wasn't one bad egg who came through the door. Yeah. It's, overall, it, overall, it was quite successful, wasn't it, at Halifax over your time? Obviously, like you just said, the la- latter stages of your time at Halifax, we had a few problems off the field. How did you deal with them as a as the squad as a whole? How did the squad deal with that? Well, it's, well, listen, it's a job. It was it was our job. It was a full time yeah. job at the, at the time, weren't we? So um, we just come in and train. Um, they kept us in the loop. They kept us in the loop. To be mm-hmm. fair, and told what was going on. Obviously, we knew we were going to have the, the was it ten or fifteen point deduction? I can't remember what it was. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah it was our job. So we just stuck at it. And um, like I said, we had a good group. There was no like egos or there was no one on. Such yeah. such a model, you know what I mean. So we all stuck together. It was like I said, it was a good group. Um, Am I right in saying that final season we did actually stay up, didn't didn't we? In yeah. Final season. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. I remember um, yeah. we went down to Crawley Tuesday night. Yeah. And I think we would have lost. We were, we were in big big trouble, but we won. I think we won four nil. Oh. And then um, I can't believe we played last game of the season. We lost the last game of the season. I think with Stevenage. Yeah. Stephen is one it, but I think Alti did Alti get relegated or did something happen? To I think, think Alchenham did actually get relegated that season and then he started yeah. going on a bit of a bad run, yeah. But then that's obviously yeah. then, yeah, we got told to come in and we got told that obviously what was happening off the field and yeah, that we won't be going, they'll be going part time, yeah. they'll go down the divisions and all that. They've got, yeah, they've got the administration yeah. and stuff like that. So, um, the majority left, didn't they? I think the majority left, yeah, but I was holding, I was in holding yeah. in Egypt. And uh, Chris yeah. Wilder for me. A few players, 
a few players did actually stay at the club. Yeah, yeah. We had a lot of... I was going to stay. I was going to yeah. stay. Yeah. Uh, he told me, and he said, "Listen, I'm staying. There's a few mm -hmm. stay. Uh, yeah. We're going part time. This is what we're offering. Blah blah blah." So I thought, right, laughing, I'll stay. I yeah. loved the club. Loved it. Yeah. And then uh, two days later, I was in the airport, and he said, "Listen, I, I'm not staying. Yeah. Uh, we can't offer you this. We've got to offer you this." And I thought, "Well, I can't. I can't do it." So that's what, what would, you, what would you have done then? Um, obviously, if you did actually stay at the club, because you would have obviously gone to part time then. How? Yeah. What would you have done? Do you reckon? I don't know, mate. I honestly don't know. Um, probably wouldn't have done my badges a lot earlier. Yeah. I, I wanted to play um, for as long as I could without doing my badges. Mm -hmm. So I was 30, 34 when I did my badges. Yeah. I would have been, what, 28, 29 then. So probably done my badges and tried to tried to go in the, uh, the coaching route as early as possibly could. Yeah. Good. It were, it were overall a good times at Halifax even staying up that season. like There was a lot of characters in that team. There was obviously yeah. the likes of Paul Sturman, Danny Forrest. What was it like working with players like that? It was brilliant. Yeah, day in, day out. It was fantastic. Like I said, there was no no bad eggs in the team. Everyone there, Chris yeah. brought in, they, they were brilliant. So we got on really well. We had loads of nights out, yeah. loads of end-of-season trips uh, mm -hmm. that I organised. It was, uh, yeah, really good, really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Steve Bushell. I told yeah. every player, Steve Bushell, fantastic man. Uh, yeah. Tom Kearney as well, fantastic footballer. I work with Tom now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's these loads. I could, I could go on and on and on. Yeah. Denny Ingram, now, Denny Ingram was a great character as well, Denny. Yeah, yeah there yeah. were a lot of great characters in the squad. Who was yeah. obviously the big characters then in the squad? Uh, Bushy. Yeah. Bushy was big. Yeah. Uh, Martin Foster. Mm -hmm. um, yourself, I'd say I was a big character in the dressing room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Midge, Craig Midgley. Yeah. yeah. Funny, funny bloke. Yeah. Great bloke. Like I said, they're all, they're all, even the staff, the staff were brilliant as well. Yeah. I could, I, I could, I could, the list would be massive. I could, I could carry on, yeah. do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it was a um, good time, really good times. When we did actually announce this, um, obviously, interview on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, there were lots of positivity uh, surrounding your name at Halifax Town, Mr. Good. Consistent, um, spermed around as well. What was it like then, obviously, being because you were quite consistent at your time at Halifax, but you did actually score the one goal. What was that like? Did I, did I score? Yeah. When yeah, you scored it? the one goal. Yeah. Did I? Who was it against? Do you not remember? No, go on. Mm -hmm. Well, no, yeah, you need to tell, can't you? Yeah, I can't exactly remember. Oh, no, let me think. Scored play. You scored the one goal at Halifax. I don't know when it came about, but yeah, scoring at Halifax as a left back, you got that one goal. I thought you would have remembered with it being the. I remember, only goal. I remember, I remember mm -hmm. most. Of the, I reckon I remember ninety-five percent of the assists who assisted. Yeah. What game? Mm -hmm. in. Yeah, I had mm -hmm. quite a few assists. Um, yeah, I don't like to get forward and, and cross the ball and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. honestly, you can't remember my goal. Yeah. I hope someone can. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully, someone in the chat could come on and tell us, yeah, uh, talk about that goal, it might remind you a little bit. But yeah. what would you explain your relationship was like with the fans? Obviously, the shares de definitely different to how it used to be, like the main stand with all the singing, etc. Yeah. used to be the Skirkett yeah. stand, now it's the South stand. What was it like? I think a, a lot of fans are prefer the facilities nowadays but it's a memory that a lot of the fans will never will never have back and I think they do appreciate that now what was it like for you yeah listen I had a great um time with the fans yeah. uh, I think they probably liked me because I gave 100% every game yeah you know I mean I wasn't a fantastic footballer but you know uh, I, gave, I gave it me all every single yeah. game uh I like to get forward I was a fit boy I was very yeah. very fit um mm -hmm. so I, could, I could get up and down and yeah. Look, fans like Halifax and you know fans like Old Scrum play for and Chess and all that. All listen, yeah. all he wants is to chat with you after the game and yeah, listen, it's ten minutes out of your time, in it after after a game. Yeah. So listen, footballers, you know we're very privileged, so we should yeah. we should spend that little time with the fans who you know yeah. who, who pay good money to watch you play and whether you play bad, whether you play good, they're entitled to an opinion. But listen, <laughs> ten minutes, a little five minute chat with them, that's yeah. all he wants. That's all it's he wants. I've seen it for three years. I've, I've come back, obviously. Yeah. I was assistant. I was assistant manager at Altrincham to Neil Tolson, and we went back there again. We went, the game was on Sky, and uh, yeah. went back. The facilities are fantastic now. Remember yeah. it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Do, you, do you prefer, obviously, now the differences, could you believe it was the Shea when you first saw it? I'm sure as soon no, as you no. got here, you, you could recognise the old Skirkut stand, but yeah. uh, obviously they've got the South stand now, there's the North stand, the East stand. Well, the main what stand where we used to, uh, the second half where we used to kick to, yeah. that was always, always rammed. And yeah. Playing, and, and the side, when I used to play mm -hmm. left back, was the side bit there, that yeah. was always busy as well. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the facilities are brilliant at the minute. Yeah, a lot of differences to how... It used to be. Oh, it used to be, yeah. 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 I remember what's walking... Thoughts, what's, what were your thoughts on the pitch then, um, compared to, like, when you first come back? Do you think it's uh, better it than it used there, to be? So when, we played, when we played, yeah. it was every, every December, January. Yeah. Which, which is horrendous, because obviously the rugby played in it as well, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, the rugby played in it. So, yeah. the start of the season, it was great, fantastic. And then, mm -hmm. obviously, yeah. the ground we've got a hell of a job to do with the rugby as well, and... And stuff like that. So listen, it, it is what it is. It played to our advantage because we had, like I said, we had we had a team full of uh, people who gave hundred percent. We didn't have any, you know, world beaters or whatever you want to call them. But we had we had like the likes of John Grant, um, yeah. Brian Sugden up front, Danny Forrest played up there and there. Yeah, well, they used to work the socks off. So mm -hmm. I thought it didn't really matter if it was a good pitch or a bad pitch, really. Mm -hmm. What was that playing style like then at Halifax? Because I think this happens to Halifax nowadays a lot of the time. The start of the season when the rugby aren't playing, it's that lovely football, that swift movement, etc. And as the season progressed, it can sometimes with the pitch not being as good with rugby being yeah. introduced later on in the season, the home yeah. the whole game plan has to change. What was that like for you? Uh, I don't think I don't think the, the tactics changed under, under Chris. Um, yeah. We have four years on him, so we knew what he wanted. Yeah. Um, I think we had to adapt. We had to adapt mm -hmm. depending on the conditions of the pitch, condition of the weather. So you, you just adapt while you're playing. Yeah. Um, we had a way of playing. We worked in it every week, uh, mm -hmm. every every Thursday and Friday. So we knew yeah. what he wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like you say, if the pitch is poor, you have to just adapt to it. But like mm -hmm. you say, we I knew if I was in any trouble, I could just stick it in the corners. I, I, yeah. had, I had Granty, I had Danny yeah. Forrest. Uh, we were going to mm -hmm. chase you make a good ball into a great ball and a bad ball into a good ball. So mm -hmm. I was very happy. Yeah. Obviously, you've touched a little bit on this. What was your relationship like with the players off the field? Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Every, every chance we get, we, we'd, we'd go out every, yeah. have a little drink every every, every end of season, do we'd, we'd go mm -hmm. to Magaluf? Uh, I'd organise it. Yeah. It was, um, mm -hmm. listen, it's not, it's not past the watershed. So I, I probably yeah. couldn't tell any stories. I've got loads of yeah. stories to tell, but not, not for this time. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, listen, they were brilliant. They were brilliant. I still chat to him now. I still chat to Fozzy, Martin Foster. Uh, chat to Denny on social media. I've got Jake Wright yeah. on the You know what I mean? So we always chat. I work with yeah. Tom Kearney. So there's, mm -hmm. there's still a few I still spoke to Steve Bush on a couple of, <laughs> couple of months ago. So, yeah. yeah, like I say, you don't do that with many, but that, that's how close he was as a, as a yeah. group. Danny Foster is uh, now managing like yourself, isn't he? I think it's at Silsden. Um, you talk to him about tactics, et cetera, uh, nowadays. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. Danny's a Danny's a bright kid. He, 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 yeah. he doesn't need me to tell him. He doesn't mm -hmm. need me. To tell him. Now moving a bit back onto that Hereford year. Now it was so disappointing to obviously lose. We were hoping to try and get back to the football league. As 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 a whole, what was that season like then? It was fantastic. I think we only lost one at home, uh, and that yeah. was the last game to Canvey Island. I think uh, mm -hmm. we, won, we won every game or we won beating every game at home. Mm -hmm. Uh, and like you say, we just had we had we had some good, really good players like Mike yeah. Foster in the field, Steve Bushell, Ryan Sugden. Uh, I had a fantastic relationship on the pitch with Lewis Colleen. Yeah. Uh, me and him did really well down the left there. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Danny Forrest. You know what I mean? We had some really, really yeah. good players who worked really, really hard. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was um, it was a shame. Look, it, it is what it is. It happens. When it, all I'm all I always say is, when I came, I came off injured uh, with mm -hmm. eight minutes. When we win in 2-1. So yeah. that's, that's all I ever say. If people mm -hmm. ask me, we win winning when yeah. I went off. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, think a lot of the players in that squad probably should have done better? Maybe Danny Forrest, etc. Um Yeah, Danny, Danny had a lot of talent. Um mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of talent. Maybe he could have he could have kicked on. Um yeah. Quinny, big Adam Quinn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big gentle giant. He was a good player, a football player. Yeah. Um, he was his uh, Lewis Colleen. Lewis Colleen was good. Yeah, bright. Colleen, yeah, yeah, bright player. Bright player. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But like I said, you did, every player probably wanted to play for Chris. That's yeah. how good he was. We wanted to play for him because he was a top mm -hmm. he was a top manager, top man, man, yeah. man manager. So um, there was no reason to go anywhere else, really. I mean, I had offers, I'll be honest, I had offers to go yeah. 
but I think, yeah. I think, one, I think one ago. Yeah. One Just, ago. Well, good. It's a good club off the field as well. Like it's not exactly as you probably weren't paid them the most. It was obviously the facilities probably at that time weren't the greatest. But off the field, the club was obviously so connected with the fans and the players. It's that's what was what what was so positive about Halifax Town, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, like you say uh, every. Every game that the, the supporters drove was on, and um, yeah. I always used to go in a bar after the game. Used to chat to yeah. them, uh, and that's probably why I've got a good rapport with them. Yeah, um, I still chat to some of them now on, on social media, and, I, and yeah. I see the old photos, and I, it's brilliant to yeah. see. Yeah, uh, but yeah, listen, it, it was brilliant. One thing yeah. I would, if I had to change anything about that, I would change. So before every game on a Friday, I used to have a Chinese, yeah. a Chinese, and a couple of yeah. beers on Friday, just to help <laughs> me relax and go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> But the night of the, the playoff final, obviously, we stayed yeah. over in Leicester. Um, yeah. And I, the food I have, like dry chicken, dry, the different food is that dry, yeah. and I had loads and loads of water. Yeah, and nerves. I, I was like, I don't know, but I, just, I was, yeah. um, I was a fit, fit boy. And yeah. I never got cramp, never ever got cramp, and I come off with cramp. Yeah. And I think, and I think, final. my head, my mentality for well, that's because yeah. of, I've had something different, or I've not had a couple yeah. of beers the night before, do you know what I mean? Actually. Yeah. But um, that must yeah. not happen. But. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a whole, then the playoffs, semi final, brilliant performance by the whole team. Great to get through. We were so close. I think like 15 minutes away from being back in the football league. Heartbreak, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it was eight minutes, wasn't it? I think, I yeah, think they eight scored. Minutes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because I come off in about the 81st minute, I think. And then they scored mm-hmm. about two minutes later. Yeah. Or it might have been later than that, actually. But. Mm-hmm. Like it's one of them things, isn't it? The playoffs, it's on the day. You know what I mean? I I didn't particularly play well on the day, I'll be honest. Especially the first yeah. half. I didn't I didn't play well. Yeah. Uh, didn't really get involved in the game. It was one of those mm-hmm. games, tenth moment, tense game. No. Didn't yeah. Really wanna, yeah, I didn't want to make mistakes. And mm-hmm. Yeah. It's one of them things. Like they're doing well now, aren't they? So yeah. Hopefully this year is the year they can get back up there because yeah. they're really long to keep wild yeah. there. I'm going, honey. <laughs> yeah. How do you deal then with like the nerves going into games like that? Like obviously you've had the Chinese story, etc. But how did like do you think the whole squad dealt with it? Because it must have been so nervous. Big crowd from Halifax going to Leicester. What was that yeah. like? Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I don't think I, I. I don't think I was nervous. Yeah, I just, I just didn't um, play my best because I didn't want to really want to make a mistake. I didn't. Yeah. Want to, yeah. So I don't. I don't think I was nervous. I just thought mm. it was. You know, I didn't. I, I had some regrets anyway, and in football, you shouldn't have any regrets going out on the field. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, and the next day, I probably had regrets saying yeah. that. But the next day, we flew to Magaluf. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't mm-hmm. worry about too much. Do you know what I mean? In the morning, yeah. I had a little, uh, had a little thing about the game the morning after. Yeah, uh, a few regrets out of the game, and then yeah. about two hours later, it was fine to me, Orca. So, yeah, for the boys, but yeah, it was a disappointing day. It was a fantastic year, but a disappointing yeah. day. Move, moving into the next season, then what was it like going into that season after disappointment? Did you think the whole squad just forgot about it, or was there a bit of a hangover? Yeah, no, 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 no. I've, I, the thing with spurred us on. It spurred, it spurred yeah. us on. Obviously, we didn't have a great start. I can remember now. I don't think we had a great yeah. start. Um, but it, it definitely spurred us on. I wanted to, I wanted to prove myself again. Uh, yeah, I think some lads did as well. So that's why I think he kept the majority of the squad, and, and he, he added a few, didn't he? Yeah, um, but it just wasn't meant to be that year. And I think that was the start of the troubles, I think, wasn't it? Off the field yeah. troubles. I think that yeah, year was the start, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, going into those troubles, was it, was it sudden when... I think we, we had Danny Forrest on this and he's he obviously said they all met up. It was just one morning and all the players met up and yeah. they, they were just literally saying, look, you're going to have to look for a, a new job. We're going to have to start again, etc." What was yeah, that, that like? That was, the, that, that was the fourth year. That was, that was, the, yeah. um, that was two years after the... That was the fourth season. I was there. The, the, the playoffs happened in the yeah. second season. But yeah, Dan, Danny's right. Yeah, just just pulled us in one morning, midweek, mm-hmm. and said, "This is what's happening. Um, mm-hmm. you, you know, you're all going to be surplus requirements. You, you're not needed. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll be in contact with you regarding yeah. where, where you go from here." But like as of that day, you, you were free to speak to free to speak to people. Um, yeah. So you know, I I had, a, I had a couple of offers straight away within day one. I had a couple of offers to go. Yeah. Go elsewhere, but like I said, I, w- I wanted to stay. I wanted to see what happened, and yeah. But look, it, it, it is what it is, isn't it? And, and look, they're in a better place now, aren't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think they're in a better place now. How do you think the fans felt then? Obviously, when that happened, the team were together, and 
Will the fans obviously putting money into the club to try keep it alive? We've heard that uh, a lot of times. Well, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. You see, so yeah. when it all happened, like it was out, it wasn't out the blue because we knew the club yeah. was in trouble halfway through mm-hmm. the season, and you know, that's why we got the points deduction and yeah. stuff like that. But I didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. I wasn't really. Mm-hmm. Say interested, but, but I didn't. I didn't know what was going on with the fan, what the fans were doing, what the what yeah. the chairman was doing. I didn't, you know, I didn't have much of a say on that, or didn't didn't, yeah. didn't hear much to do with that. If, if that's what they're doing, that, well, that was a fantastic yeah. gesture. If that's yeah. what um, but yeah, it was a, it was a difficult day. It was a difficult mm-hmm. day. I wanted to stay because, like I said, I love the club. I love the people yeah. in the club. Uh, the fans are fantastic. Every game, yeah. every away game as well. So mm-hmm. I, I had no, I didn't want to go anywhere else. Yeah. Were there any particular away days, like you've just said, that you, you enjoyed? I think the fans probably enjoyed. Uh, that semi-final was good. That, yeah. great. that was mm-hmm. a good that was a good game. Yeah. Uh, intense game as well. Yeah. Uh, it was like the football. It felt like the football was in, 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 in the pitch for the full 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I was absolutely knackered after the game. But yeah. I remember dancing. <laughs> yeah. I remember dancing in front of the fans. Yeah. And playing that. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sure. He was, he was an idiot. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that was a good game. I, me- I remember when we used to stay over. I, yeah. I, used, to, I used to love away days. I used to share with yeah. my sister and what yeah. we, him and Denny Ingram, used to do every single away day. So Chris yeah. Gardner, meet for breakfast at half eight, come down have yeah. a breakfast. We used to go down at seven, yeah. have a full English breakfast, go for a walk, and come back down at half eight. Yeah, have some cereal. Oh. So if you didn't know, it, you never knew about that, but that's what we used to do. Because you weren't allowed. I don't to think. Leave. I don't think he would have approved of it. To be oh, honest, yeah, he wouldn't approve. That's why we snuck down at seven o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll move on to. We've got like a different section now, where we move on to some like quick fire questions okay, sent then. in. Um, the first one is: as a boy, what team did you support? Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn Rovers. Yes. Mm. So do you still follow him to this day then? I have a I have a look, so I look out for Halifax's. Uh, yeah. results. I look out for Blackburn results and look out for Rochdale's results. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we actually had a, someone from Blackburn on loan recently at Jack Vale. He came well, okay. on loan from Blackburn. Any good? Uh, yeah, he was a good player, but um, I don't think we wanted to loan him back, but which oh, was right. a bit of a shame. But um, moving on, then, what was your pre-match meal? Was it that full English? Yes. Yes, yeah. so if, if if you stay like away, went to like uh, mm-hmm. like Torquay or anywhere really down south, yeah, I'd have I'd, I'd go down seven o'clock full English, yeah, and then say twelve o'clock, uh, probably mm-hmm. have chicken pasta, or yeah. chicken or beans or something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I had to get I had to get something healthy in my body. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have to always get something. But um, what what song would get you buzzed up for a game then? I like we used to um. Mr. Brightside, it was by the Killers. Oh, killers, yeah. oh yeah, mm-hmm. that was that was a good one. That used to get me going. Mm-hmm. The the be- the next one is in your whole career, what was the best goal you ever scored? Um, do you know what? I won goal of the month off Sky as well. Um, it would have been my goal at Mansfield in nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I was was it sixteen or seventeen? Yeah. Um, a right foot volley, and remember the, remember the stanchions, the little thing yeah. there, stuck in there, the ball stuck in there for about 25 yard volley. Yeah, but that... Chester, yeah, Chester went there in the football league. Yeah, mm-hmm. got there, got um, league, yeah. league all the month. Hmm. Not bad. Moving on, then, um, it's the next one is if you didn't make it as a footballer, what would you do? I love, I love planes, so hopefully, I would have yeah. tried to be a pilot. Yeah. That's what I tried to be, yeah. And if not that, probably a firefighter. Yeah. Fireman, yeah. Pilot. Not that's not a bad job at all. But um who inspired you as a child then? Like which footballer did you look up to? So Luke, I was I wasn't I didn't play football until about 11, 11 or mm-hmm. twelve. Uh, obviously yeah. I liked it, I enjoyed it, but I didn't start playing. So I'm a big rugby rugby league fan. Yeah. Massive rugby league fan, yeah. I uh, I support Saints, go go mm-hmm. Saints home and away. Yeah. So growing up, I, I love rugby, so I had I'd like Bobby Goulding as, as my hero and stuff, mm-hmm. people like that. But football wise, I used to, yeah. I used to, when we were playing in the school yard, I used to love being, um, there was a player called Georgie King Cladsey from Man City, mm-hmm. uh, left footed, like a jinky winger. He, he was fantastic. Yeah. He was brilliant. Mm-hmm. So if, if you get a chance, Google him. Luke, yeah. Good player. Yeah. I'll Google him after this. Um, what was the highlight of your time at Halifax then? Do you know what? I was captain once. Yeah, yeah, Tufty mate. Um, he was injured. 
can't remember who was injured. No, uh, probably Paul Sturman as he was the captain. No, no, it was in. It was in. It was in his third year. My third year. I can't remember who's captain. Two thousand seven. Might, might have been Quinny. Might have been Bill Adam Quinny. Might have been injured. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he just said he said, "Boys, listen, you're going to be captain." Mm -hmm. I was made up. I was made up. Obviously, we had, you know, the unbeaten run at home, and we didn't get we didn't yeah. run at home all season. And you know, I, I I've got loads of memories. I've got loads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got loads. That, that that was a proud moment for me. Being, being captain of, of that club was, yeah, yeah, that was a massive moment. Yeah. Now we'll move on to some fan questions now that have been sent in from you guys. We've got some on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. I did actually try ask everyone to put them in the YouTube chat, but a lot of them got wiped, etc. The first one is this is from AFC Halifax 2006. Hi, ask Buzz about the Halifax Town race trip and his role in it. Race trip? Yeah. Uh He's on about, he might have been, we went to, um, if, if this is what he's on about, we went to, I went for a, a night out in, um, what did you see, the, the, the dogs, mm -hmm. you know, the dog track. Yeah. Um, and basically I jumped the barrier and when yeah. the, when the um, finger went round mm -hmm. and the dog went out, I went after it. I was running after it. Yeah. So yeah. That, that was a bit silly at the time. Like, you know, we had a few drinks, but yeah, uh, it was funny at the time. I got, I got chucked mm -hmm. out. I got chucked yeah. out. Yeah, as as the bunny, as the uh, the rabbit went round, I yeah. the rabbit and the dogs come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The next one is this is from Shearman Kev. Who's the best manager you've played for in your whole career? Would it be Chris? Uh, man management? It's it, it's it's Chris. All yeah, hands down, mm -hmm. it'd be Chris Wilder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have ran through a brick wall for him. To be fair, um, yeah. best coach though, I'd say it was Paul Simpson. Mm -hmm. Um, who won the world cup for with England under 19s? He, he was my yeah. manager at um, yeah. Russia, but he was a fantastic coach. They, mm -hmm. they, the day bits in the um, you know, some some of his uh, practices were fantastic, yeah. yeah. But Chris, yeah, Chris, Chris is by far the best manager, yeah. This one's um, from Twi Twitter now, and it sort of links in within the Chris Wilder, etc. But did he ever think Chris Wilder had the qualities as he has in the league management? Did you ever think like? Uh, Chris Wilder would make itself out the football pyramid. Um, and I, I knew he would, he would, he would get a shot in the football league. That was that was yeah. obvious. Um, to say, do I think he would have done as well as he has? No, I, don't know. Like, I wish he did. I, I, I was yeah. hoping he did, and 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 stuff like that. Yeah, but he, he's done fantastic, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he's been brilliant. And I, I knew he had it in him because yeah, he, he, his man management skills is a second to none. So. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, listen, so now I was made up when he when he got yeah. Sheffield United to the Premier League, yeah. and, and he's doing wonder working wonders now at Middlesbrough. He? Took him to I think was it ninth in uh, the Premier League, and they yeah. just missed out on Europe as well. It was extremely tight that season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when but, he got um, when he got released from Sheffield United, I texted him. Yeah, mm -hmm. saying you know you know to Blackburn, get to Blackburn. Yeah. I spoke Celtic as well, and Celtic didn't have a manager yeah. then. I said, go mm -hmm. on, get, get yourself to Celtic. <laughs> and a yeah. chat and laughing. Mm -hmm. Would it be would be a first to get a, a Halif an ex Halifax Town manager uh, managing a side in Europe? We've had a player that's um, played in Europe with Jamie Vardy, but Chris oh, Wilder yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. that would have been great if uh, Chris Wilder could uh, glide um, Sheffield United into Europe. Yeah. The next one is on. Uh, I think this one, yeah, this is on YouTube. How did you feel when the club went bust in two thousand and eight? Yeah, well, we touched on it a little bit, haven't we? But listen, yeah. I, was, I was gutted because, like I said, I wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. I had no reason to leave. Uh, the money side wasn't an issue. I wasn't really bothered about, you know, mm -hmm. what they offered and stuff like that. It was just when Chris said he was leaving and then a few of the boys said, listen, they can't stay because a few of my, you know, young yeah. families and stuff like that. And uh, it, it, it made it, it made the decision a little bit easier to say no then because yeah. it, you're going into, you're going into a whole new group of players and a whole new, mm -hmm. you know, staff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it, 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 it would have been difficult. But yeah. if, listen, if, if Chris would have stayed or if a few of the players would have stayed, yeah, I think I would have stayed there for years and yeah, yeah. I definitely would have got a testimony out of it anyway. Mm -hmm. The next one is another one from Shame and Kev. Hi, Matt. When it got to the last five minutes of the game and we were winning, how did it feel to win? How did it feel? Yeah. Three, point, three points. Well, it, make, it makes your weekend. Yeah. It does make your weekend, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the the best the best feeling 
Mm-hmm. And, and I reckon any footballer will tell you this is, especially yes. when you win away and you're on that coaching away home and, and there's music yeah. on. Oh, and, yeah. And you're playing that cards was... and, you're, yeah. and you're scrapping, you're scrapping, but in, in, a, mm-hmm. in a good way. Um, but yeah, five minutes when it got to the last five minutes of the game. Yeah. Uh, look, like again, we, have a, we had a game plan. So mm-hmm. if we're winning five minutes, depending on what the score is, if, if it was close. Yeah. Just, you know, we just played near half, kept the ball in the corners. Um, mm-hmm. Game management, really. Just game yeah. management. But yeah, there's no better feeling than when the referee blows yeah. a whistle and you've picked up three points. Especially when you make a long away trip as well. Like, let's say you're going to Torquay away. That journey goes so much quicker, will not it? Oh, they're the best. They are the mm-hmm. best. First first stop is the off-licence. Get a crate of rail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On the way, six hours in the way back, mm-hmm. yeah. Fantastic. yeah. Mm-hmm. The next one, this is on, I believe this is on Twitter again. Who was the longest in the shower? Now, you actually did sort of answer this, saying I, I was, to be honest, I was one of the longest. Uh, but yeah. who was actually the longest? I knew, listen, that, that was a friend saying that. But I had, yeah. uh, back then, I had a mullet. I, mm-hmm. I had some wacky hairdos back then, so yeah. I had a mullet. So I was long in the shower, as in like, yeah. sort me hair out and sort me, sort me looks out. So I, I I was quite long in the shower, as in like having yeah. a wash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The next one is another one from uh, Moody BL. The semi final against Grid is one of the greatest games I've ever seen at the show. Who was the best uh, team he played against in a town shirt? Yeah, uh, Grays were good. Remember, mm-hmm. great Grays, Grays were good. They had some good players. I mean, yeah. Remember, I marked a lad called a man called Kitely. He went on to play for Wolves. Yeah, he mm-hmm. went to play for Wolves. Yeah, they had Gary yeah. Hooper. Gary Hooper yeah. went, to, went to play for Celtic. So they, yeah. had a, they had a top, top team. And a few went to play for Peterborough as well. So mm-hmm. they, were a, they were a fantastic team. And we had some really good games against them. Mm-hmm. But that just stuck out in my mind. That, that game at Shea, the 3-2 yeah. game, that sticks out in my mind, yeah. As, yeah. A, as one of my best days. Um, yeah. greatest, te- greatest games, who was the best team? Um, mm-hmm. Steve, Steve and weren't bad back in the day when yeah. Darren Stapp played for Orlando. They weren't bad. Uh, obviously, you have your pre season friendlies, didn't you, and all that? And yeah, we played Wigan when Wigan in the Premier League and stuff like that. And Paul Jewell, and yes, yeah, so there's, there's a few good teams, but that, that, that Grays game sticks out in my mind, definitely. Yeah, now I think this is the final question, it's one that's asked to every single person who does actually come on. Only one person has failed out of the 14, so no pressure, yeah, okay. but uh, it's can you can you name all the clubs he's played for during the career? In order, so all the clubs you've played for in order throughout your career. Uh, started at Chester. Mm-hmm. Then I went to Rochdale. Yep. Then I went to Halifax. Yep. Then I went to Altrincham. Yep. Then I did my cruise year. I was out a year. Uh, I come back and signed for Altrincham again. So I was Altrincham twice. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I went to uh, my hometown club, Warrington Town. No. You went to no. Witten Al, Witten oh, Albion, yeah, and yeah, Hall, so you yeah, failed. Yeah. So you went to, I'll go it in order, Chester I thought, City. I thought, meant, I thought you meant sign clubs. I thought you meant sign clubs. Oh, I, went there, I went there kind okay, of like... Okay, we'll restart, we'll, we'll restart because uh, yeah. I could still catch you out. So you said okay. Chester, then you said Rochdale, Halifax, Altrincham. Then who was it? Uh, was it Witten then you said Witten? Yeah, Witten. Yeah, so I went to Witten and uh, Trafford on like. Um, mm-hmm. So it's Witten. Yeah. Then I went back to Walsingham. Yeah. And then I went to Warrington. Did you go to Warrington? Uh, yeah, you went to. No, you went to Hyde. Hyde? Well, we're told. So yeah, actually, yeah, I failed. We're so told, you're yeah. the second person uh, to fail. Uh, Jonathan, so, you, you probably don't know, but Jonathan Hedge was the only person uh, to fail. Oh, so, yeah. No, 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 yeah. So, yeah, uh, two of the 14 have failed, so uh, unlucky. But Listen, I think my, that... my, my brain's like a sieve. I can't remember me. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I hope someone comes on and tells me on Twitter when my goal was, Halifax. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be that good to know that. Yeah, hopefully. I think that more or less concludes the interview. Matt, I really, I really appreciate you coming on, taking the time out on your weekend. Best no of luck uh, with managing, etc. at this moment in time. And yeah, uh, good luck. Thanks, Luke. Thanks for having me on. See you down the chase.